Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another cruise video. Today we are on the Carnival Luminosa. We are sailing outside of Australia, BG tomorrow. Um, and we are in room 4278. So before the cruise gets too long and our cabin gets too junky, we try to keep it clean. I figured I'd give you a cabin tour. Once again, we are in a 4K, which is mom's favorite type of cabin. Our room servant, our room steward, Luke, has been great. Um, and the 4K is an obstructed view cabin. So it is an interior, but instead of the two beds, a small desk or dresser and no couch, we have a couch. So you can see that on automatically extends the room. And then we have floor to ceiling windows. These used to be French doors. They've been sealed. And while you can't see straight out across the whole window, you do get a bit of a view. But the main point is that you get light. You are not in a little box inside the ship with no natural light for 10, 11, we're on this ship and the Splendor for over 20 days. That's a long time to have no sunlight in your room at all. So we really like the 4K. And this room, you can see quite a bit of view. Our, our view on the Pride when we had a 4K was more of an up and down sliver. <laughs> but if you check things like room tours, you can get a pretty good view of which rooms with obstructed views have a decent view, which ones you're just seeing the lifeboats. It used to be that the French doors actually opened out and they went out to that little white railing. You couldn't open them all the way and you couldn't go out there. You, you can see. It. It's just a little bit of space. Now we have seen people walking by out there. It's definitely an area where they work. The crew. Um, the crew. No, it's not... It's not as busy as on the Pride. When we were on the Pride, it seemed like they were doing <laughs> work outside our cabin three times a week. But, you know, from there, you're going to have your standard two twin beds, or you can have them put together for one king size bed. You have your nightstands and an upgrade since I was on the Luminosa last yes. is the new USB plugs. Very, very helpful. And I will link that video when I was on the Luminosa last in June, we did an Alaskan tour. Um, we were in a balcony cabin. So very, very similar layout, but you actually have a little bit more space inside the cabin for 4K because your footprint is the same. Whether you have a 4K or a balcony, that balcony takes up part of your footprint. So you have a smaller cabin with a balcony and some outside space. But I will link that below if you want to check out what a balcony cabin on the Luminosa looks like. Spoiler alert, it's just like this, but squished. Whenever we go on a cruise for a long period of time, we bring this over the door holder and we put it up with magnets. You can see we hang quite a few things with magnets, which is always helpful. Even <laughs> we use them even to keep our curtains closed at night because otherwise there is just a long sliver of space where the sun comes in, which I am not a fan of. You can also ask on these long cruise, well, you can ask on any cruise. I only bother on the long cruises for a mattress topper and a blanket, this blue blanket. Um, they are first come first serve. There's not enough on the whole ship, but if you ask early enough, you can typically get one. The TV is up on the wall here. We have one, two, shelves we have a little cabinet with quite a bit of space i just have my sodas in here we haven't even used our uh extension cord since we have those plugs over by the yeah, nightstand you, you only have one plug over here on the desk and, and so you wanted to plug in your phone you'd have to extend it ipad you had to have an extension cord that went across the whole room. This is great. Having the USBs by the bed is a game changer. Oh, yes. We also have, as mom is demonstrating, 
a um, chair instead of a little coffee table, mm -hmm. as well as our vanity stool and trash can combo. We have our fridge right here. And a lot of people complain that the fridge doesn't work very well on these ships. Typically, as long as you leave the door cracked, it works just fine. It lets air circulate. Those are non-stocked mini bars. They're not really refrigerators. And so by letting the air circulate, it lets them stay cold. Up. Yeah. So we learned that a long time ago, and it does work. You can see our couch and then our uh, jacket and bag wall. And the main thing you'll see here is we have our two larger magnets. These are actually magnetic wreath holders because the smaller hooks for jackets and things are not, not heavy duty enough to hold the big bags up. So now on some oh. um, rooms, this is a third bed. Yes. So they'll take the cushions off every night and they will uh, make it an actual exactly. mattress. Yeah and make it up with sheets and a comforter and you could fit three people in this cabin if you wanted to and there's storage underneath we didn't use the storage this time no sometimes we open these drawers and put sodas or um souvenirs in here mm -hmm. but typically if you don't have a third person staying in here all the linens for the third person are in those drawers which makes mm -hmm. sense it's under the bed then we have one, two, three, four drawers, but pull out the top one, Mom. Mm -hmm. The top one is where the uh, complimentary, very nice, very sturdy uh, hair dryer is. It's tiny. It does nothing. But if you need it, it might work for uh, thinner haired girls than me. <laughs> it doesn't work for me at all. Then you can see our very fun collection of ducks. We haven't found that many this time. I found these two the first day. Mom found this one, was it yesterday or two days ago? Two days ago. Two days ago. I found this one yesterday, and Mom found this one today. So, so far, five ducks, five ducks and we've been on the ship for six days. Since the 18th. Yeah. We have our closets. These are pretty standard. We have the safe, so if you want to put any of your... Uh, valuables in the safe you can. Then you have one, two, three, four, five shelves. You have your two hang-up closets. And if you ask, they will bring you extra hangers, or of course you can travel with your own. This third spot, you can see at the top here, is where they keep the life jackets. So you have a hang-up space. And your life jackets. This is a three person cabin, but right now there's two life jackets up here. If you had booked it for three, double check, there should be three. They're pretty good about that. Yeah, this cabin is actually only for two. Even though there's a couch, it cannot be used as a bed. Only certain cabins can be used as three person cabins. And is that because of the capacity of the ship? That's because of the capacity of the ship, exactly. So. We couldn't bring another person in here even if we wanted to, even though we have this couch. And it could be a bed, but it is not supposed to be a bed in this cabin. There's also some cabins that have four where they have a, a bed in the up. ceiling. And, and so if you want a third person, you have to make sure to pick a third person cabin. Yeah, three people. Three packs cabin. From here, we have the bathroom, which has two hooks. Your lovely complimentary shampoo and shower gel. One little uh, spot in the bath shower area for your things or mom's things. And then your shelves. So you have six shelves on either side. Everything else about this cabin is fairly standard for a carnival cabin. Nine times out of ten, the cabins are very, very similar. The only difference will be if you're in a suite or a Havana area, a spa area, family harbor, um, one of these areas that has a, a specific function, like Family Harbor caters to families with young children. Havana caters to people over, over 12. Tw 12, really adults over 21, um, and is a Cuban kind of feel, Havana. 
Uh, the spa cabin obviously caters to those guests who prefer the spa amenities, and they have very blue, serene rooms. Have you you ever stayed in a spa room? I haven't. Kathy has, but I haven't. I haven't either. Somebody asked in a comment on YouTube the other day if I'd ever no. stayed in a spa room. As the cabins get bigger, like you start out at the very bottom, you're in a 4A. That's the lowest interior cabin on the lowest deck. Does that hold two people? That usually holds two people. Or you can get a 4A for three or a 4A for four. And then they go, like, they'll go up to deck two where there'll be four Bs. And that'll be an interior on deck two. And then they keep going up. 4K is at the top. Of the interiors. Of the interiors. Even higher than spa cabins because it has such a big window. There you go. And then there's also what they call 4J and 4K. Those are usually front-facing interior cabins that look out over a walkway. So what's the difference in this 4K and that 4K? That it just has a window like an uh, ocean view, like three feet by four feet. This is huge to have this big giant It's a window. very big window. It's a, it is a game changer. It really is. So then if you start... You start getting up into the suites. We've stayed in a Havana suite. Of course, those have slightly different layouts with they're bigger. Uh, bigger seating areas and sleeping areas. The bathrooms are bigger with bigger showers or tubs. So it just depends on the suite level. But this is definitely our favorite room. And if we're not going to pay for a more expensive room, We've only ever really paid for the Havana suite for a bigger room. That was a and special And that was a special, a special trip. It was my 30th birthday. Mom's. 60th. And my little brother, my little big brother had just graduated from college. So it was a celebratory cruise. It was a big deal. It was also his first cruise. Yeah. And we knew he would not appreciate the shoebox. Yeah. That, that mom and I prefer. Because we want to spend our money off the ship. We want to yeah. go do stuff. But I just this, need a place to sleep. A 4K is less expensive than an ocean view. Mm -hmm. so, or even a porthole. Or so, a porthole. So, yeah. There so you it's, go. It's great. And for these longer cruises, when you're on a ship for 20, 25, 30 days, it's much nicer it to have a window. It makes a world of difference. Yeah. So, we are on this ship. We are about halfway through this cruise. Then we're flying to Sydney and we'll be getting on the Splendor and we have a balcony on that cruise. So we will do another room tour when we get to the Splendor. In the meantime, you have some very interesting cruise videos for you. The last couple days we have been docked at a small little chain of islands, chain of islands, Vanuatu, Vanuatu, Santo. And so those videos will be coming up shortly or you may have already seen them i don't know what's going up first this or that but lots yeah. lots of australia fiji uh, island videos coming your way either way vanuatu she said there's 83 islands in that chain of islands that's a lot of islands that's a lot of islands well most of them i suspect are uninhabited yeah it'll be an interesting cruise either way but we are going to go ahead and go get ready for uh dinner and we will see y'all in the next video bye